فليبتكن آذان الأنعام ولآمرنهم فليغيرن خلق الله You watch and see, I will show them and I will command them to slip the ears of the cattle meaning to be cruel to the animals also as well as to change the creation of yours Ya Allah what that means is they won't be happy with what you've given them. They won't want it. You know, this is why in Islam, there are certain things prohibited. A man has a face. Be happy with that face. A female has a face. Be happy with what Allah has granted you, where your nose is, your eyes and so on. If you are not happy with what Allah has given you, Wallahi, that's a disaster. That is ungratefulness, ingratitude. Why do you compete with the others? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. So then a person has plastic surgery and what have you, all that will result in regret. Obviously, if someone's face is completely deformed after having been involved in an accident, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. There is a chance and a possibility that that particular individual may be going through some form of surgery in order to rectify what was wrong. But it is not allowed to go out and beautify yourself through various types of surgery and what have you. And this is why the hair that Allah has given us, we must be happy with it. It is prohibited for men and women to add extensions to their hair, which does not belong to them. These extensions that are sewn onto the hair is equivalent to telling the creator, I'm not happy with what you gave me. I'll show you I can come up with something better. Allahu Akbar. What a dangerous statement. We want to add to what Allah has given us. Allah gave us hair. So what if it's very little? So what if you are bald? What's wrong? I think it's actually quite good. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all protection. It's not a bad thing. Remember, one man's meat is another man's poison. Maybe that's not the correct saying here. But what is, what is meant is that what someone doesn't like, someone else will like. If you are big in size, don't worry. Remember the story of the king? Don't get too worried. Allahu Akbar. It is a duty of us. That we realize some people will admire you as you are. Allah has created people to like you with a dark complexion or with a light complexion. It's got nothing to do with what Allah has given you to say, I'm not happy with it. Alhamdulillah, be thankful because shaitan's plan, one of his plans, and we need to know his plan, is to make us ungrateful for what we've been given by the creator himself. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us protection. So, فمنكم كافر ومنكم مؤمن هو الذي خلق السماوات والأرض بالحق وصوركم فأحسن صوركم. What a beautiful transition. He molded you. Allah says He created the rest of the skies. He could have added, He created you too. But He's already said that before. He changed it. He said وصوركم. He molded you. صور in Arabic is to fashion something, to mold something, to sculpt something, make a sculpture that's perfect and beautiful. He says, I did a, Allah Himself says, I did a really good job making you. He Himself is telling us. He takes pride in how beautifully He made us. You know what the ungrateful says? Why am I so fat? Why am I so skinny? Why am I so short? Why am I so, why do I have freckles? Why do I have this? Why do I have that? How come I'm not smart like my brother? How come that one's rich and I'm poor? How come I don't have this and how come I don't have that? And you know what happens in this society, especially in modern society? And it's happening globally, not just in America. People start getting old, the hair starts going, start turning gray a little bit, right? Then you notice, you know, uh, wrinkles on your skin. So you, and there's an entire multi-million dollar industry to make sure that you look like you did when you were 20 and you end up looking like a zombie, right? But they'll, they'll, they'll put hair implants on you and they'll stretch your skin for you and they'll tuck your belly in for you and they'll do all these things to you so maybe you can pretend you're still 25. Allah is saying, accept who you are. I think you're beautiful. Why do you think you're ugly? Why do you have to be so unhappy with yourself? <laughs> he did, did a beautiful job with you. And molding is not just in the physical sense, even in our personalities or capabilities. Allah has given each and every one of us certain strengths, certain abilities, certain talents. He is the one who gave them to us. So when we don't appreciate what we've been given, then we're not appreciating Allah Himself. Because He's the one who gave. Just like when somebody gives you a gift and you don't appreciate it, you're not, not, you're, you, it's a disrespect to the one who gave you the gift. All of what we have been given is a gift from Allah Azza wa Jalla. وَصَوَّرَكُمْ فَأَحْسَنَ صُوَرَكُمْ And if you don't recognize that, وَإِلَيْهِ الْمَصِيرِ it will all be, You'll all be going back to Him anyway. Whether you take advantage of these gifts or not, 
they will have to be returned to the original owner. To him is the final return eventually anyway.